Okay, in this session we're going to learn how to insert a title block and insert your border. <clears throat> now you're going to find that when you insert these uh, two items into your drawing, um, you may, you're going to have to scale them so you can print and fit it on an A size piece of paper or a letter size. So let's go through the process. All right. So once you get your drawing done, and you always want to draw your your objects one to one or full scale. Never, ever, ever scale your drawing um, because you may need it at full scale some other time. <clears throat> some other people uh, that are working on assemblies will need your your CAD data as well. Um, but anyhow, to insert um, the the border and title block, you go to the um, home tab and you go to over here to insert. All right. And what it's going to do, it's going to go out and find uh, wherever you have these files. Now, I have these files on Angel, and then therefore um, your border A, B, C, D, title block, seed file, center line, some of these will be on Angel. Uh, it's recommended that you take and copy these onto your flash drive, and that way you have them at your fingertips. But if you do end up losing them or deleting them somehow, they'll always be on Angel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the A border, okay, and it gives you a little picture of it right here, and hit open, and just hit OK. And just kind of place it somewhere on your screen by clicking with your left mouse button. So there's your A size border. Now let's bring in the title block text. See, here's the border, and then you want to fill in the title block. Well, you could manually fill in the title block with your name etc but it wouldn't be perfectly centered so I've created an attribute for that so we'll go to insert browse and go get it and I'll get the title block text and hit open and hit OK and it's gonna want it's gonna want you to insert it at a, at a specific point. That point, that datum is at the lower right corner of your border every single time. So insert it here and then and then fill in the data that you need to fill in. Like what is the title of the drawing? In this case this one is CAD 1. Who made the drawing? KRM. I would just put your initials. What is the scale? In this case the scale is going to be 3 over 4, and I'll show you why. The date, I would make this 9 slash 5 slash 14. If you leave it the other way, it won't fit in the the little box that the date needs to go into. And the drawing number in this case would be just 1. <clears throat> now I'm going to spell it wrong on purpose, so I'll show you. Uh, so there it is, I spelled number 1 wrong. And I'll hit OK. And you come in here and you look at it. You say, OK, it looks good, but oh, I spelled something wrong. How do I go in and change it? Well, just double click and you get a dialog box. And you can come here and change the value to whatever it needs to be. And hit OK. And there it is, updated. All right, so there's your title block, your border, and there's your drawing. Now, it doesn't look like the drawing will fit in there, so we have to scale. We're going to scale the border up. All right. So I'm going to go to the scale command, and I'm going to scale the title block and border all together. Enter. It says specify a base point. All right. So I'm going to pick probably this lower right corner as my base point, and I can scale it. I can drag and scale, but I don't want to. I'm going to put in there four slash three. All right. Look at the look what I got four dash three is the scale factor. And hit enter. So basically I scaled it up one and a third. But instead of using one point three three three, which is repeating decimal, I just use the fractional, which is four thirds. Now you can move your drawing into turn your ortho off. Okay, kind of, kind of move it in there, center it the best you can. Just eyeball it. All right. 
So we scaled the, remember, we always scale the border and the title box. We never scale the drawing. So now it's time to print. <clears throat> so we go to our big red A over here and hit print. And again, we got to pick a plotter. All right, I'll pick a plotter. Our paper size is letter, which is A size. All right, what to display? We always hit window and we pick the corner and the opposite corner of the border as our window. We always hit center of the plot. Now, we're not going to just fit it on paper. We're going to plot to a, to a specific scale. Since we scaled our border up four thirds, we plot the reciprocal, which is three over four. And then hit preview. And what you see here is what you get. If this doesn't look right, now in this case, this looks correct. Your border has like a little white space around it all the way around equally, because that's why I said center of the plot. Um, everything seems to fit in there nice, and that's how it's going to look. So you can simply just hit the print, and it'll print out, and you'll be uh, charged, I guess it's five cents for uh, an A-size print. And uh, so that's how to print using a specific scale.